Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 10 full tutorial series for beginners. In today's episode, we are going to learn about ng switch statement. What is ng switch? How do we use it? What are the use cases that you will use in real time applications? We are going to learn all about it in today's episode. This is part 21 of the Angular 10 complete tutorial playlist. Make sure you check it out. The playlist link is in the description box below. So far we have covered 20 episodes and if on your screen right now you are seeing all the topics that I have covered in detail with like coding and examples. Make sure that you check it out so that you have continuity in your learning. If you have any doubts on the previous episodes or any topics just drop them in the comment section. I will try to help you. Today we are focusing on learning about ng switch. So what is ng switch? ng switch is a built in directive. It you can you can identify it because it starts within the brackets, right? Uh, in the square brackets, you'll write ng switch. If you're coming from any other programming familiar background, uh, like any programming language like um, C, C++, Java, etc., you would see something called switch statements, right? So switch statements allows us to uh, that it takes a parameter and can do multiple checks, right? So you can have multiple variations and say if it be belongs to this expression, if it belongs to this expression, do this, etc. A good argument that a lot of people put is why should we use switch and not use if else, right? So let's say I give you an option that let's say there are 10 values, right? And you want to check that a certain condition is met that your value matches to any of those 10 conditions. So it doesn't m really make sense that you write if else, if else, if else, if else 10 times, right? I hope you agree with me on that. So ng switch will help you easily write such kind of use cases where you have multiple values through which, so you're trying to compare and find a value which is matching to your expression. That expression can be, th that is what we call them as switch cases. So there are three main important elements of ng switch. One is ng switch, ng switch case, and the other is ng switch default. Let's see this how uh, to use that. Uh, this is a little bit of uh, code syntax for your reference. So you have ng switch. That's what you write it in the square bracket when you pass the expression. And then you pass the switch cases, which means if it matches this expression, one, two, three, four, five, and number. And then finally, you can also have something like default. If nothing matches, do this. Right? So that's the pseudo code uh, for your reference. Now let's jump into hands on and do some practical examples. Before we do that, please friends, I request you to please support me by liking the video. Please do subscribe to my channel. Also, please, I look forward to your feedback and comments. Thank you so much in advance. Let's get started with um, some practical hands on example. So first um, we have our application up and running. So it's a simple one. We learned ng4 in the last episode. So make sure you check it out. Um, let me put it at uh, 4. I'll say learning ng switch. Okay. All right. So ng switch, uh, like I said, it's used for comparison of values, right? So how do you write the syntax? You can write something like this ng switch. Look at the carefully the up uh, the camp cases, right? Uh, don't make a spelling mistake because most probably some of the junior developers will end up uh, doing such mistakes, um, which is not really okay. So if I do something like this, um, so see it will give error, right? Because it doesn't know. So it should be ng switch. And then I'll say expression, right? So what is an expression it, that you want to resolve? Now in this case, let's say I'm going to say superhero, right? Uh, I'm saying there has to be, there is a superhero. So let's go ahead and put it in our component. Here I'm going to say superhero equal to, um, it's it's odd, right? That sometimes um, women are much better than us, um, but we still call it superheroes. Um, so I'm going to rename it and say um, superpower, right? And then we'll say, we'll pass a value. We'll say Wonder Woman, right? And then let's take superpower and put it in the here. So now I'm saying whenever check for the value of superpower, that's what we are telling in here. Next I'm saying take ng switch case equal to. Now 
this is extremely important friends make sure that you follow this com correctly because I have heard so many developers from my development team complain about this because they just make this mistake every time here if you see it's a string right this is a string right and lot of people what uh, developers do is that they just put it like this right sorry the moment super powers okay now see now this is giving error right now let's see why so the reason being that it's a string so it has to be the quotes right so now you see now you don't have an error if you put it like this it is thinking that you are trying to compare to a property and that would give you error here right so this has to be kept in a string like this then only it will work right so now I'm checking that the value of superpower should be equal to Wonder Woman if it is true do this now see I'm going to put some variations and here I'm going to say Superman e -man. right so this is spider right this is spider-man this is he-man right this is superman you get the point right so now see so what we are saying here is come this is an expression superpower come and check if it is values matching to this display 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 wherever the values are matching so when you go to application it will so it will show that display Wonder Woman superpowers that means it has it now knows that there is a value which is equal to Wonder Woman right now let's change it right let's make it Superman now you see it says display Superman superpowers right so now I'm going to make it Spider-Man so see just by changing the values your expressions are changing right so really you're not writing if else and making it messy code right it's simple straightforward syntax and trust me it's absolutely powerful when you're dealing with such activities right now some of you may ask hey um, why only strings right why not do something with say um, category category right so uh, let's say you're looping something and you have some category right um, so then you can say category is clothing mobiles right uh, so you can have different combinations like that let's say if you are if it, you're building an e-commerce application you might have something like check for the product category if it's categories clothing mobiles etc right or you can say tax right numbers now now let's deal with numbers right um, so here now we can say if tax is greater than 100 right if tax is less than 50 right so this really cannot be done right because expressions you cannot do right so what we can do instead is something like this if tax is say 30 or if say tax is um, say 50 right now let's define tax and say tax is equal to 10 right so now what we are saying we are saying tax is equal to 10 so here I'm saying if it is 30 if it is 50 show it is not showing because the values are not matching so now I'm going to say tax equal to 10 so now it says display tax is 10 display tax is 30 right so see now this is integer number that's why I'm not putting it in quotes but if it is a string you have to put it there right so this is one um, use cases where you have done string and numbers right now you'll say hey <coughs> let's say the values doesn't match what should we do right so for that we'll use something called <coughs> ng switch case switch default default means simple if no value matches 
super power is learning right so if none of this matches display this right so let's see that working so here it says display spider-man superpowers because in the component it is matching spider-man so now I'm here I'm making angular and now I, the expected output is superpower is in learning so see similarly if there is no tax matching add, add one more entry and call it here default switch case default and you don't have to pass any value because by default if none of these ma values matches it will take switch case default right default tax is 50% for you right so now it is tax is 10 let's change it to something 20 so now it default tax is 50 right so that's how uh, ng switch can be used in your applications in real time to kind of write beautiful code at the same time it's crisp right there is so many validations checking it's doing but the code is really crisp the code is really beautiful the code is not complicated it handles all the use cases if value matches display if else if it doesn't match any of these values show the default as simple as that right I hope uh, this is clear to you I hope it's um, interesting and you're finding it um, uh, you're finding it interesting to learn in the next episode we will continue learning about ng style very very important very very critical most of the time you'll end up using ng style in your applications for sure stay tuned for that please drop me any questions or queries that you have on ng switch I'll be happy to help you not only on ng switch i welcome any questions that you have on angular 10 series let's learn together let's grow together if you like my work please consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials thank you so much